Hey guys, so I'm gonna give you a solution that I absolutely love for attaching anything that you wanna have any sort of uh, weight uh, bearing on that. So if it's a coat hook or you know a, even a TV, anything, we we tend to have a lot of issues in these campers because they have just this eighth inch Luan board uh, that you, you know people put drywall screws into and have tried all sorts of different anchoring ways uh, to or ways to be able to anchor things and most of them uh, fail or, or they have some you know significant downsides but the very best that I've found that is great for your interior walls which are hollow as well as your exterior walls um, that have the foam core uh, and I'll show you in a minute how to deal with that but these toggler um, uh, toggler hollow door anchors are excellent and it says holds up to 124 pounds that's for quarter inch plywood though uh, but these things are, are really excellent, and so um, I just wanted to show you. In this case, I, I keep them with me in the camper because you don't. At least I don't know when I'm going to need them. And I just cut off the actual packaging so I have that, and then I put some extras, you know, a bunch of things in here, and I'll show you what those things are here in a second. So um, I just wanted to show you one of the applications that that uh, that I utilize these for is just for a um, hanger here. Um, to be able to hang our clothes. This is a retractable clothes hanger and I like it. So, uh, you know, it's, it's in the shower, it's above the shower, so we can take some wet clothes uh, and just hang them here and they're just gonna drip in the shower. And also, you know, we have the ability to use a portable washing machine that's, uh, that sits in our uh, shower basin. And then after it's done washing, it has a spinner in there and uh, then that gets the clothes, you know, most of the moisture out of there and then it's just damp. And so then we can hang them from here and we can turn the fan on or a fan on to blow at them as well as have our camper fan on to get that, get that humidity out of the camper. So, uh, so anyway, so this is a good application that I found for, for using them. Obviously, if you're putting tension on this, you want to make sure that you're, you're well anchored to your walls. So uh, this is a lock on it, so I'll undo that lock and then I'll take this off and then that retracts back in there. And then I'll show you here. Uh, so in this case, I just have the, you know, the three anchors that I used and, uh, and pr pretty straightforward. What you do is you drill a 5 16 inch hole so you can always keep that drill bit with you as well, but you drill a 5 16 inch hole, and then you take this anchor here, um, and you basically just, you need to bend it in like that, and then you push it into the hole, and then once it's in the hole, it's gonna sit like that, right? And you then have one of these little red things that comes with it, and you just take that once it's pushed into the hole, and you push this, and then obviously that pushes that out. So now you have your anchor mechanism back there uh, behind the wall. And then you, of course, have a screw and you screw in whatever you're gonna attach. So this, again, it's, it's really uh, excellent. I don't know of any negatives to this really, other than this sticks out maybe a 16th of an inch for this round tab on the front face of the wall, of the wall which makes sense for anchoring, but you know that's the only negative that I can come up with, so. Um, Anyway, so then for that's for the hollow walls. And so then when you have for the exterior wall, it's gonna have a foam core. And so you obviously can't fit this. Well, look at that. My makeshift table is not the best. So you can't, uh, you can't fit this anchor side into the, the the foam core obviously you're going to drill that five sixteenths of an inch hole but then when you go to open it up it's not going to open right so so what i've done is i've made um this i've just got this uh and it's just an allen key that came you know for free in one of those ikea kits to assemble furniture um and you might have some laying around or you know come up with some other solution but this works well for us and basically i just took my grinder and i just ground down this side of it just a little bit so that the chuck on the drill can grab onto it a little bit better uh, and then this the the shorter part uh the l i just took the grinder and i ground that down to make that somewhat sharp um and then i put it in the drill and then you just drill your 5 16 hole into the foam core 
and then you put it in there and then you just slowly with the drill you have it turn and then that's going to start to break up that foam in the area that you need it to break up it's not going to take out too much so then then once you get that you know once that spins around and you get that excess out of there you can vacuum it out or it'll just fall out then you put your uh you put your anchor in and you're good to go on an exterior wall with a foam core so hopefully this helps guys and um then you know as you already saw i already had it uh oops uh, had it together there and it works it works really well and you can utilize it in in any number of applications and so if you ever need to um you know after after you're done using it if you should ever you know want to remove something or you made a mistake and you drilled a 5 16 hole and it's no longer usable uh, then you can reach out to the manufacturer and it can be difficult as I'm sure you're well aware it can be difficult to you know to get a hold of them sometimes or to get parts uh, but they do have some uh, matching seam tape that you know is, is basically just a peel and stick tape that you could, that's that should come in in the interior colors as well as um, as this and I don't know if it actually comes in the interior colors anyway so um, you know, or at least for the interior wall. I know that I got some for this. So even if I wasn't going to use this anymore, I can just fill that in with some putty and then I can take a sticker, um, you know, of the matching tape here, uh, matching color, and then just put that over it and it'll blend right in. So, uh, let me know what your thoughts are. And if you have any questions, take care.